Hi guys, welcome to this Chris Ryan Golf video. The video today is going to be looking at the, the right arm, the role of the right arm, and more specifically, when it should be straight in the golf swing. Now, the right arm should really only be straight at one point in the golf swing, but this is often something we see amateurs or people who struggle with their golf swings do wrong. So, when should the right arm be straight, first of all? Well, the first point that the right arm should be straight in the golf swing is just post-impact. So about here, so perhaps a foot to two feet after the golf ball, okay? So that's sort of quite surprising to a lot of golfers. A lot of golfers will get their right arms straighter or earlier than that in the golf swing. So let's look at the two things that we see which are faults. Well, the first one would be at setup. Often golfers get this right arm very straight at setup. Okay, so if I turn this way to the camera, you'll notice that my right arm has certainly got a little bit of flex in it here. So we often see golfers with that right arm too straight, which can often put the right shoulder too high and too far forward, gets the shoulder alignment too far left. So from the face on angle, right arm being too straight can often get the, the front shoulder too high. It can force the hips to come back a little bit too much. So it's quite surprising that this, this right arm, if it's straight at the start, can often throw the, the body angles or the body alignments out of sync before we've even taken the club away. So let's make sure that when we're taking our address to the golf ball, left arm is pretty straight, right arm is a little bit more relaxed here, so there's a little bit of softness in it. Okay, so that would be the first point that we see often golfers get it wrong, they, they have the right arm too straight at address. So after that, let's assume that the right arm is good at address, set up. We'll often see the right arm straightening too early in the golf swing. So just prior to impact or around about contact point, this right arm is fully extended and it's straight. Again, this is a little bit too soon. As we've said, it should be just post-impact. So those of you out there who feel that you don't retain the angles too well, if you feel that maybe you throw the club away a little bit too early, a lot of leakage in power, you'd often find that your right arm is going to be straight too early in the golf swing. So what is, how does this help us with our golf swing? Well, what we can do is we can just simply practice this feeling. Now, I often get golfers to take a normal address position to no golf ball, take the glove hand off, and just make a couple of rehearsals trying to feel that this right arm straightens post-impact or target side of the golf ball. So we'll start to see very, very early the golfer who feels like this is what they want to do. Now, when we get golfers do this drill, we'll often find that if the body doesn't work too well, so if I don't really utilize my body in the correct way, it's very, very hard to get that right arm straight after the golf ball. We'll often find that even if I do it really, really slowly, that right arm's going to straighten around about here. If I start to utilize the golf, the body in the right way, that allows me to get this right arm straight post-impact. So just trying to work that drill nice and slowly, feeling that the right arm maintains its flex and it straightens post-impact. So as we strike the golf ball, that right arm is still trying to extend. And that's quite important because that's quite a powerful position. So once we've done a couple of swings with one arm, using the body, moving the hips forward and rotating, that allows me to deliver the club to here and straighten the right arm post-impact, we can go ahead and place the left hand on. And we can start to feel that the same thing happens. So we work the body forward and turn, right arm is still flexed, and as we strike down, it's straightening to an extended point, as I say, about a foot to two feet after the golf ball. Once we've done that slow motion, we can start to add a little bit of speed. And we can start to feel where this extended point is. Okay? Now, what we'd like to have is around about this two feet after the golf ball, we should feel that both arms extended and that golf club couldn't be any further from my chest. So I know that golf club can't get any further away from me. If I extend that right arm too early, when I get to this point, that golf club is not as far away from my chest as it could be because I've got a, a kink in my left wrist here that's broken down too soon. So I know that that golf club could be further away. So let's focus on this area of the golf swing here, about two feet after the golf ball. And let's try and make swings where we feel that the golf club extends through to this point here. Okay, that's my extended point, two to three feet after the golf ball. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to then start to play little shot, golf shots. 20 to 30 yards, taking a setup, making a little backswing and trying to feel that we hit this point here. Okay, and trying to hold the finish and seeing where we are. Okay, so I'm going to have a go, I'm going to turn around, just going to pitch a ball only about 30 yards up this range and see if we can get that position that we spoke about.